what's oh y'all we have an antique desk i think it's a desk it may be a dresser one of the two or maybe a roll top desk because of uh, a lot of those like go into that and it has little hooks could be either one of the three i'm not sure but i want to say maybe i don't know i don't know but it's an antique it has no markings on it that i can see and we can see we have a couple of little ward things to deal with as well as the nose of it is a little loose but we're going to go ahead and get started making a key for it first from the selection of keys that will work for it you've basically got in the u.s you've got the larger diameter and the smaller diameter which has a not as tall blade and also not as wide so while the width would be good in this case uh, the center post uh, will not it won't fit uh, where that is I'm gonna show you that here okay, so see your center post these smaller diameter blanks any of those like that will not go over and see that one does go over but you can see the blade height is definitely not long enough this one's kind of unique it got has a pretty heavy side ward right there if for instance this was the only lock on the cabinet you could always you know do a little manipulation here but i believe we have several other locks we're going to go ahead and choose this key because i have plenty of them because the post is big enough to go over that post it doesn't look like we're going to have to cut any of the blade height down but if we hold it this way we can see we have a little blade height down and if you look in there you can see a little ward that's at the front of the key right there and it's not directly in line with this ward slightly offset now there i'm sure at one time there's some pre-cut keys with that side ward in it you do have to have a blank thick enough to do and this is going to be this is going to be pretty close that goes that goes halfway across the key so that is a little bit difficult to tend to so we're going to go ahead and start off by holding the key up just like that we're going to go ahead and mark where our ward is in the side, just like that. All right. And uh, then we're going to look in there and we can see, see how it's off center? So I'm going to kind of hold it right in this area. And, oh, nope, nope, right about there, stay right there, and then come in on the front of it. And it looks to me like it takes up about half and half. So that ward is going to be cut just like that. And then we have the groove that goes all the way across right there so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that uh, and then again it needs to be cut down just just a little bit right there and we will see this one is uh let's do it right about there we will see that this one the bolt is on this side or the towards the head right the bolt right there that when you turn the key it throws a bar across here which the latch has two notches and it goes down into it and the bolt throws across i may have one of these well i thought i had one of these but i don't but i'm going to go ahead and start in on cutting this all down so uh, yeah let's go over here and get started Right, so once again I'm going to use my cutter for this because I have the ability to do so you could always do what I'm doing with files but I'd like to save a little bit of time here by doing it with the machine 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut the back off to make it fit in the lock. because it doesn't really grip real well. Okay, here we go. And lastly, we need to make those side cuts. So it would be really great to have a... Uh, machine to be able to do this but uh, I don't so we're gonna try something sometimes you can do it like this but it, it's it's not a great way to do it so we're gonna transfer over here to the uh, to the vice oh our nose is getting sloppier so that's obviously not going to go in until we get that cut, but let's go ahead and knock it out. And to do that, we're going to clamp it up over here on the side, about halfway. Boom, just like that. Looks good. And uh, at, so at this point, we are going to do this the most dangerous way. <laughs> uh, I've done this a, a, a very number of ways. Number one, you could just use a hacksaw and come in here and cut it out. Yeah, a little tedious, not fond of that method. You could come in here with a file. Uh, that's actually probably just a little bit too wide to do it, but I don't wanna do that either. You know, we could, I don't know which way would be better to do this. Let's try this this way. Cause I'm actually going to use a little bit more of a dangerous method for material removal. So let me get this put in the vise level. Yep, that looks good. Crank it down just a bit. We're going to use... <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. Oh no. The cutoff wheel. And hope this goes well. So ready? too deep that's the problem with using power tools like that 
Sometimes you go a little too deep. But I'm going to go ahead anyway and keep on going with it. Kind of square up the uh, square up the cuts here. Okay, and I need a different file than this, so let me grab one of those. Just the uh, Harbor Freight cheapy pack. We need to find one with cuts on the side. There we go. Straighten this up just a bit. And now uh, let's see how narrow we went. It may be okay. I don't know. Let us see. Where's the lock? Oh, Jason. Oh, Jason. Looks like maybe our front ward is holding us up here. Probably needs to be a little bit deeper. So let's do that. I can come back over here. And we can just go a little bit deeper on that. Don't even need to stop the camera. Okay, I think it went all the way to the bottom that time. But we still need to clear up. We need to clear up that back just a bit, I believe. I definitely think we're deep enough, so. One more time, back over to this. And uh, let's shave a little bit more off the back and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Should just be a single lever, so this actually should work right now. Oh, beautiful. Not much to it. Basically, the spring lever portion would be on the front side, so that would be controlled by the front and the bolt is thrown on the back so let's just go ahead and move it over to the vise for easy cleanup beautiful and again the strike plate has little holes in it and once it goes down in there that bar goes through the holes so nothing to it we are going to have to do something about this pin though it's a little hard to get out so I'm probably gonna do a little bit of touch up on the file. Come on over here and just do a little touch up on the uh, key itself. Make it look a little better. 
on these little flash burrs off, just like that. Yep. Yep, just like that. Kind of give it a little angle cut so that it'll it'll pull out a little bit easier. That'll help pulling the key out, of course. And go ahead and move this up just a bit. And some light little fouling here. Again, to square everything off. Good, yeah. I think we're good. Let's see if that helped. Pulling the key out. Oh, wrong way. You know, once this gets stabilized, that'll probably. I'll probably help that as well. Okay, we're gonna try one thing though before we go to all that trouble. Oh, well, I'm gonna answer the phone, hold up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this just to see how it does. And for that, I'm going to balance this guy straight and just lightly tap it with the ball pan and sometimes this will sometimes this will fix the problem It's you. Basically, we're just kind of flaring it back out there. Hey, good deal. So we are done with this guy. Short little video. Not too much to it. It does kind of angle a bit going in now that it's fixed looks like i need to widen that groove just a bit more but uh we can do that fairly easy by just taking our file wait which way do i i need to go i need to go forward just a bit so we're going to bring it around here just like this get our filing side and Kind of go to town. I'm pushing down. I'm not pushing this way. I'm pushing this way. And as always, to the member of Rot's Guide, it's perfectly fine to file like I'm doing. You'll be okay. You've seen the notifications. Luckily, brass is uh, much easier to deal with than some of the metal keys.
All right, I've still got it. Uh, you know what? Hold up. Let's just do a little bit more finished work here. Just a bit more, and we'll be done. Give it the bevel right there too. Okay. Nothing to it, y'all. A few power tools, a little fine tuning with some hand files, and uh, and I think we're good to go. Okay, let's get the back of this too. doing that to give it the curved edge back just like that and knock off that little thing right there just like that make sure that's all smooth and actually go ahead and get rid of the cast line across the top there as well and that's it I believe I believe I can lock. I believe I can unlock. I believe I can get paid. Every night and every day. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's it. Who took my spot? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching y'all. Got us another one done. Uh, we're gonna put the turbine oil in there like I've mentioned before. Drip a little, drip a little drippy drip down there to just kind of protect, you know, the metal and everything and make it work just a little bit slicker. Uh, but other than that, that's it. Y'all have a uh, great one. If you have any questions or comments on uh, this or any other videos like it, post them in the comment section. And we'll catch y'all next video.